Hello and welcome to Aubrey Waste Management System. Turning waste materials back to its usable form. Reducing the waste materials in our landfills. As well as the production of these materials. Our material recovery facility creates livelihood to a particular community and a technology that cleans the waste water from landfills known as leachate into a clean and odorless water that is safe to be discharged into rivers and seas. We can recover at most in our garbage are the following. 1. Metals. 2. Plastics. And 3. Paper-based items and farm wastes. In fact, close to 60% of our waste are paper products. Since most of our wastes comes from paper or fibrous materials that can be recovered back into usable paper, it can also be used as a building materials like paper blocks. It can be used as a substitute for hollow blocks. The paper blocks is four times lighter than hollow blocks but stronger in a sense that it has fiber components combined with cement. These materials won't radiate heat, therefore no additional electric power needed to cool down your home. A special component added to the mixture that do not support combustion while it is also designed not to hold water. Therefore very cost efficient since it comes from garbage. The material recovery facility process flow are the following. The collected waste paper is soaked in water to soften the fiber before it will be beaten to recover the paper pulp. The soaked paper is feed to the fiber beater to obtain the pulp. The pulp can be used as a component in the recycled paper or as a component in making the paper blocks. If you are going to use the pulp for paper recycling, you need to do the following. Place the pulp in the strainer and put the collected pulp in the dryer. You can get a recycled paper once it dries up. Or if you are going to make the pulp into a paper block, you need to do the following. Mix the pulp and the cement in the cement mixer. Once it is properly mixed with the right amount of water, place the mixture in the hollow block maker. Once the block is dry, you can use it as a substitute for hollow block applications. In this video shows that the waste papers are soaked in the water for days. It is made sure that the water is very well absorbed by the papers. You can observe that the soaked paper is feed to the paper beater to extract the pulp. The paper beater is specially designed by Omri to be efficient, simple to operate, very low maintenance, and very affordable. Our specially designed paper dryer is flexible. It can be LPG fed, charcoal fed, or any heating material available to accomplish paper pulp drying efficiently, whether in urban or remote areas. The following are our sample recycled papers made from our machines. Should you want to create a paper block using from these recovered pulp, just mix the pulp with cement 
to create the paper concrete mixture, as shown in the video. The paper concrete mixture is then feed to the hollow block maker to create the paper block. Once dried, the paper block can be used as a building material that is lightweight, stronger than hollow blocks, heat insulator, soundproof, and above all cheaper. Plus, you help clean our environment. In general, there will be a segregation of materials that can still be recovered. Agricultural waste or any organic materials is separated to a biodigester to create an organic fertilizer. Other non-biodegradable materials will be stored in the landfill in which it will be buried underground to eliminate bad odor and to contain those polluted materials underneath that soon will be covered with soil that will be pressed to avoid leakage. During the process of pressing the top soil, the liquid stored in it will also be squeezed out, known as leachate. This harmful liquid can contaminate our groundwater and rivers or seas if we will not treat them before we discharge them to the environment. Groundwater contamination is irreversible and cause havoc on our health, likewise with our environment. That is why we would like to introduce our leachate treatment facility to treat those harmful liquid before discharging them to protect and preserve our groundwater. Traditionally, the waste materials are just covered with soil before being pressed. The squeezed liquid will then sip to the groundwater, contaminating it. Our technology provides a total solution in containing and treating those harmful substances in our landfills. First, the entire landfill pit will be covered with rubber lining to make sure that there will be no leachate 
can sip to the ground water. The leachate will be piped out to our leachate treatment facility, wherein the liquid is treated with our proprietary photocatalytic filtration system that is non-hazardous to the environment. Our treatment facility consists of chambers that will precipitate heavy particles. The clearer water at the top of the chamber will be overflowed to the next chamber. The water is then passed through an aerator consisting of an electric motor and blades. Then it will pass through to our proprietary biofilters and finally treat the water with chlorine before it will be discharged to the environment. This is our actual biofilter. These filter media reduce the biological, biochemical, oxygen demand, total suspended solids, and coliform. In addition, chlorine is added to finally disinfect the water. The design of the facility is open, making it capable of turning that reader liquid into complete mineralization, virtually organic compounds, which is also of use to plants and harmless to animals and humans. consider our technology in preserving our groundwater in our landfills and at the same time can generate livelihood turning garbage into money thank you for viewing <laughs>